Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That. We're the inspirational channel that goes behind the scenes, interviews some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and much more. So we are back with another Tech Tuesday in regards to this 3D printing. And uh, many of you guys have had a lot of questions out there and uh, a lot of you guys are getting into the 3D printing. So we wanted to try to put out some helpful tip videos and kind of you know let you know some of the issues we ran into and also trying to diagnose some of the issues that you guys have uh, sent us. And again, make sure you do like and subscribe and put in the comments if there's anything that you guys are looking for. And we'll try to keep putting out uh, more and more uh, helpful tip videos each Tuesday. So today we're going to be talking about the CR6 Max. Now, this printer, like I said, everything goes across the board with a lot of the 3D printers. We're going to be talking about the filament sensor. Now, some printers don't have the filament sensors and they're equipped without them. Uh, but many of them do. And these sensors are very crucial to your printer. Uh, some of the questions that we had is one is what do they do? And two, uh, how do I diagnose uh, the, an issue if the filament isn't reading? So we're gonna get into those two questions and only cover a short video topic and we'll, we'll expand more into other videos with each related topic. Uh, but today we're just covering this sensor and why it doesn't, you know, if it doesn't work or kind of, you know, tips on how to diagnose it. One, it's very, very simple is if the light isn't on, uh, they do have a blue light on a lot of these, then it's broken or there's an issue within the, the sensor. So these sensors are fairly inexpensive. And but we did have a new one here that's uh, from Creality. It is a uh, new sensor. Uh, they're fairly inexpensive, so if you notice the light isn't on, it's it's pretty pretty much a simple two screws to replace. So just take these two screws off, and then just make sure you don't over tighten them or crack your plastic, and then put your new uh, Creality. Uh, even there's a lot of aftermarket ones too, so depending upon which one you have, but we always recommend the OE or original equipment because sometimes even the aftermarket ones are faulty and they're just not as well built. So just go ahead and unplug it and then plug in your new one. Now, when you do get these, you do get new wiring harnesses and everything. So you can, you know, either replace those if there's a faulty wire or something like that. Now, if you do get into it where you plug this in and the blue light still doesn't work and there's there's still issues or the, the sensor doesn't work at all, We'll get into that in another uh, video segment about how to diagnose that because it's you have to dig a little bit deeper in uh, testing. But most of the time, the sensor is to blame, and usually they either something inside, you know, one of the resistors or something just kind of blow out. So that's uh, one uh, tip there in regards to that. And the second one I kind of already covered was the uh, wiring. Uh, for the sensor. So those, those are two things that seem to go out on these, mainly the sensor, the wiring very rarely. And we'll talk in other videos about the filament feed uh, in regards to that. But today I just wanted to cover some diagnosis with the sensor and we hope that helps.